Canva has a whole bunch of exciting new video features and if you're a Canva user or you're interested in trying it, you are definitely going to want to know about these. This video is sponsored by Canva. It's completely free to use and if you go to the link in the description below, you can get 45 free days of Canva Pro for some extra time-saving features and tools. Canva, of course, has been around for a while and most of you will know Canva as a graphic design platform. But more recently, Canva has been taking major steps in the video editing world, which is great for those who run their own businesses and make their own content, as well as for those who just want to get acquainted with an ultra simple and easy to use video editing platform. But the reason we are here today is because Canva is now rolling out what I would consider to be the biggest upgrade yet to the video editing platform. So let's jump right into some of these new features you need to know about, starting with adjustment filters. In Canva, we can now adjust a variety of parameters to do with the overall look of a video clip. Things like brightness, saturation, contrast, white balance are all available right in the adjust window. Now sometimes out of camera, things don't always end up looking the way we remember in real life. So it's nice to have the ability to adjust things like warming our shot up or cooling it down, playing around with some of these settings to give our footage that look we were hoping for. Now moving along to the next feature, and this is something that I've been dying for Canva to introduce for a while now, and that is element timing. Here's a video with three different shots in our timeline, and let's say we want to add text to one of these shots. Like always, we can just grab a text template from the text window and drag it right onto our video. Of course, we can change this to whatever we want it to say, and this looks good, but what if we don't want the text to last over that whole shot? We just want it to appear over a certain portion. Well, what we can do now is we can actually right click on the text and select the show timing option and this gives us the ability to adjust the duration of the text itself all right within the timeline. And this applies to any element you want to add to your video. So whether it's text like you just saw, or if you want to add graphics, stickers, or another piece of video footage, you can adjust the timing of all of these different elements as well. Now moving along, let's talk a little bit about animations. Now, new to animations in Canva is the ability to adjust and tweak certain variations. So for example, let's say we want to animate our text from before with a typewriter effect. We can just click right here and automatically it will add the animation to the text. But as you can see, we now have some new options to work with. We can actually choose if we want this typewriter animation to occur on the entry of the animation or on the exit or both. We can also select the speed of the animation as well as if we would like to only apply it to each word or every single character or letter. And having this level of customization and personalization all within the platform is awesome because it lets us make our videos unique and opens up for more creativity. Now, of course, I had to save what I think is the best new feature for last because it is definitely the one I am most excited about, and that is the background remover for video. Now, you might be thinking, didn't Canva already have a background remover? And yes, they did, but that was exclusively for removing the backgrounds from photos. But now you can remove backgrounds from video footage just with one single click. Now you might remember in the last product commercial I made in Canva, I had this pink can rotating on a black background. And I actually had to create a freeze frame after the can was done rotating so I could remove the background and replace it with a bunch of fizz. Well, now you don't even have to create a freeze frame or wait for the can to stop rotating. Here's the same shot I used in that video. I'm going to select it and go to edit video and click on the background remover and boom, the background is totally gone and the can is still moving. I'll bring that fizz in the background like before and send it behind the can. And I can also bring in our fizz text and send that behind the can as well. Now we have this dynamic product shot with a background replacement while the can is still moving all thanks to a single click background removal. I think this is such a great tool for people who want to dabble in product videos, but don't have or know how to use complicated editing software. But just for fun, let's see what happens when we try to remove the background from a shot that's more complex with actual stuff going on in behind the subject and not just a blank background. 
This is our shot here, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of detail in the background. So let's select our background remover, and as you can see, it still does a really solid job of removing that background, despite how intricate the details are. So there is a first look at some of Canva's new video features that I am personally very excited about. Do not forget to go to the link in the description below to get 45 free days of Canva Pro for some extra time-saving features and tools. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.